Eric Magidson here with Excel 2010 Basics, Merging and Splitting Cells. Again, let me remind you that these basic concepts of Excel we're discussing do apply to previous versions of Excel, such as Excel 2007. So let's get started with merging and splitting cells. Essentially, we're using the same spreadsheet that we've been using before. And as you can see, I have a title and a subtitle that it would be best if I could see the whole thing. When I entered this, it was centered into cell A1. I can certainly left align these two cells so that we can view all the data. But to make the spreadsheet look really nice, especially when I print it or present it, it would be nice if these were merged. So in order to merge cells, I can go ahead and highlight a range of cells that I want to merge. So in this case, from A1 to O1, because that's over my data here. And I can come up here and choose Merge and Center. So since that's the default, I can just click here and it'll merge and center. Let's take a look at another option here. Let's say I want to merge, but I don't want to center the cells. The down arrow tells me there's more, so I'm going to choose that. And in this case, I'm going to merge across. It's going to keep the formatting of the left in line and merge across. So now let's look at some other options here. I'm going to come down here and choose an area so that we can see what happens when we merge. This is best seen if I apply some quick borders to these cells. So as you can see, I'm going to merge these eight cells. I can do merge and center, and it merges into one. If I had data in there, you can see it also centers the data. Let me undo, go back to our four. I've got them highlighted. Merge across merges across the rows. So if you notice now, by selecting all those, I've created four rows of merged cells. Let me undo that and go to Merge Cells. By choosing Merge Cells, it again merges into one, but as you can see, keeps the formatting, in this case, left align. Now, one of the issues with merging cells is if I pick cells with multiple data points in them and tell it to merge and center, I'm going to get an error. It says the selection contains multiple data values. Merging into one will keep the upper left most data. So in this case, it's going to keep only the value of one. Let me go ahead and say OK. It's merged the cells and kept the value of one. So we want to be careful merging cells with multiple data points. Let's come back up here. We've merge this. I'm going to go ahead and center it. And there are times when sometimes you have data or cells that you merged for one purpose that you want to unmerge. At this point, all we need to do is come back to merge and center, unmerge the cells. If you notice, it keeps my data, moving it to the first cell. And now I'm back to eight cells here. Let's say I added another column here and I wanted to merge again or unmerge to merge again. I can come up here, unmerge the cells, and now if you notice, cell A1, B2, sorry, A2, B2, C2, etc. are available to me again. The last thing I want to point out is that when we merge and center, essentially the cells B1 in this case, or B2 in this case, versus O2 have gone away. This merge cell takes the address of the first cell in the merge, in this case, A2. So if I happen to be down here, come up here, and type A2 to go to that cell, you'll see it's that merge cell. So there's merging and unmerging cells. Take care.